listening to the announcer's table with Daryl and Ian. This podcast is presented by ringicon.com, the social networking site for wrestlers, fans, promoters, and everything indie wrestling. Log on today and create your profile. And as always, enjoy the show. Hey guys, this is Ian. Who am I? Uh, Cuckoo Kachu. No, you're close. Coco Beware. <laughs> I have a bird on my shoulder. Uh, and I'm black. Yeah. You are the complete opposite. No, bird? No, you're white. Um, this is the announcer's table presented by ringicon.com. You can check out our videos on youtube.com slash ringicon. You can also check out the videos and other things on ringicon.com and create a profile. And uh, start sharing your experiences. But today is Promotion Builder. And what are we talking about? Today, we are talking about something that should be... Stinks. Yes. It should be passionate for everybody, (laughs) but it's not. We're talking about sanitation. Yep. I know it's a stinky subject. Nobody wants to talk about it. But somebody has to address it. Okay? And so we are. So, and uh, let's start with the mat. Yeah, I mean, promotions, a lot of promotions don't think about sanitation because they have so much other things going on. Yep. So sanitation is kind of the last thing on your mind unless you have a pool of blood in the middle of the ring, which then you kind of think about it. Exactly. uh, But without that, I mean, the mat has half-naked guys sweating on it, you know, for multiple hours straight so it, it's something that can cause germs can create germs and you also have to think that you know a lot of wrestlers you know just wrestle in tights and things like that so 50 percent or 75 percent of their body their skin is laid out on uh, this mat yeah you know and the mat so. really needs to especially if somebody's bled on if somebody's bled on the mat it needs to be cleaned within 24 hours yeah you know and disinfected but I would say at minimum, at minimum, I would scrub it down once a month. I mean, look, we're going to be realistic. We know nobody's going to clean it once a week. Okay. But I would at least take once a month and then, you know, take a, uh, you can probably, I don't know if it'll work or not, but it's, I don't see why it wouldn't. But one of those shark steam cleaners um, that you can buy for your house are not that expensive. You can use them on hardwood floors like that. You know, yeah. Steam the canvas. Like, you know, hose it down, you know, like, and just let it air dry. You know, at least once a month. Yeah. But now, something... Well, just to, uh, I mean, you know, doing a deep cleaning like that, you know, once a month, definitely. But every night, before and after the show, you need to at least spray it down with some disinfectant. Yeah, with some disinfectant. Yeah, I would. So. Absolutely. I mean... Just to just one to get the smell off of it, and two uh, to you know sanitize the surface, and just to to make sure that you know the guys that are you know before the show and after the show you have a clean mat that people yeah. can wrestle on without getting uh, you know. It, now another issues. thing that should be cleaned before and after every show is the ropes. Right. You don't those are not that hard to clean. Just get you know those. Just go to the dollar store, get you some disinfectant wipes, and just grab it and just, you know, go down yeah. the length of the rope, you know, on all four yeah. sides. Uh, well, at least one sheet per rope. <laughs> yeah, or per, yeah, not per, per whole, side. Yeah, yeah, well, I, well preferably yeah. a couple of sheets per side yeah. per rope. You know, that way it's nice and clean. And then, you know, take the, depending on how your turnbuckles are, you know, you could use the, the sheets right. for those as well and just wipe those down. Right. But at least with, you know, I would dis- use a disinfectant disinfectant spray that you talked about on the turnbuckles as well because i mean look you don't want to get your guys sick you know honestly we was talking about it before the show and i'm surprised more wrestlers aren't sick yeah you know from hitting the ropes and touching the mat and everything like that you at least want to spray it with disinfectant disinfectant spray i can't talk today (laughs) you can't say disinfectant i cannot you need to do that all over the ring right you know at least every week yeah. And then take the mat, and I, I know it's a chore, but you know what? So is running a promotion. Yeah. All right. I would rather have healthy wrestlers and a clean mat versus sick wrestlers and a dirty mat and just not give yeah. a care. 
I mean, and you can look into maybe dry cleaning. I, I don't know much about that. I haven't heard much about people getting their mats cleaned at dry cleaners, but I'm sure somebody does that. So yeah. you can look into it. It might be cheaper than, you know, buying a machine, you know. I don't know, but it's an option yeah. you can look into. And if I, if you're thinking, well, man, I don't have a pressure washer or I don't have my hose doesn't get hard enough to really spray yeah. it down, take it to the car wash. Yeah. That, uh, the the self car washes that had the hoses. And I know you, the, the bays are not going to be, you know, 16 to 18 feet. I know you're not used to 20 foot rings. So, you know, 16 feet, you can do half. Yeah. And then flip it over, do the other half, you know, and then like just spray it off and just yeah. like soap it down. That's what I mean. God, just because guys once are a month sweating month. on yeah. it all the time, and that's not healthy no. to to it's, just it's kind of st- gross. Yeah, stay on there. I mean, you know, and th- right now we're talking directly to promotions and promotion builder, you know. But tomorrow we're going to talk about gimmick builder well, and a, a whole of lot of things to talk about. Oh my god, in that aspect. But you know, other things that. Um, that's pretty important is you know a lot of wrestlers walk down to the ring um they'll you know walk on the concrete or whatever uh on the outside uh, out of respect a lot of wrestlers wipe their feet on the outside uh, of the ropes before they step in you know uh try to teach your guys that that's yeah, important to do that. you know because when you wipe your feet off you get into the ring you you really um you leave you know, the debris right you know and, outside yeah or have some type of like floor mat that you, that they can wipe their feet on right before they step up on the ring or something of that sort you know i mean because where they're walking is also where they're laying you know yeah. you don't eat where you crap so yeah. you know it, it's the same well as a promoter thing. This is one thing you should really focus on. Just disinfect the ring after, before and after every show. Yeah. And then at least try once a month to just really spray down and scrub your mat. You know, it, it, it may take a couple of hours, but that couple of hours is worth it, you know, to keep somebody from getting a staph infection yeah. and, and getting really sick. And other things, you know, we've talked about the ring and a little bit of the entrance, but in the back you know have some disinfectant wipes have some dis- disinfectant spray for the guys to use you know have hand sanitizer for the guys to to rub on their hands after the yeah. match you know just have some things for the guys that you know this isn't something I, this is why we're talking about it is because yeah. it's not something that promoters really think about very often because they've got so much other stuff going on you know and i, I don't want to say more important but i mean sanitation is just not an issue that comes up a lot you know and if you don't if something doesn't happen for you to think about it then you're not going to think about it right you know and and we don't want something to happen and be like man i wish i would have thought about it i wish i would have done that well so yeah and it's also it looks good you know if your mat is clean you know if your mat looks like it's a dirty mess and it has dirt stains on it and you know it, it, it's not going to be appealing to to workers it's not going to be appealing to the fans you know exactly. so it's it's a part of your presence and your your identity and, and your your brand, your brand you so. know so uh, just make sure that things are clean and that things are safe you know think yeah. of your workers you know cuz they're you know, there for you yeah and you most know? most promoters have kids yeah. Yeah, throw them a couple bucks to clean the mat to scrub it down and yeah you know so you know and remember to clean your <laughs> oh, I was gonna say remember to clean your poles but, <laughs> <laughs> but your your post on the side you know remember to wipe those down too because you know you have guys that get thrown up against them and and people yeah. touch them as they walk around yeah, and things so like that clean so your poles yeah <laughs> and your post <laughs> So, so just remember to to keep everything clean, sanitized, and because you are working in an environment where there is a lot of sweat, I mean, it's just like the gym, you know, make sure you wipe down your machine after you get done yeah. uh, working out. So, I mean, I don't know if you knew that or not, but... What are you trying to say? Nothing. <laughs> so, no, I'm just, I'm just messing with you, Daryl. That's okay. So, <laughs> but... You know, just remember to keep everything clean and sanitized. Yeah, so. well, that's all I have for the show. Yeah, and if you have any tips on keeping things sanitized, if you have certain materials or products that you like to use, you know, leave a comment at the bottom and let us know of things that you like to use or exactly. like to do to keep things clean and sanitized. And then so. tune in tomorrow. Yeah, big for how big we day. break down for your gimmick, because trust me, this is. Mm. Yeah, so. 
for you wrestlers, referees, valets, all of the above, you know, if you're in the wrestling business, um, tomorrow is sanitation for you guys. Yep. So all today right. was promotion, tomorrow's gimmick builder, and uh, you can check out the videos all the week long and uh, at youtube.com slash ring icon. Yep. So. And I'm Coco Beware. No, he's not. I am. See you next week. Tomorrow. I don't even know.